For me, I think a hero is someone who can basically kind of improve your outlook on whatever your situation is. So it doesn't necessarily mean that your problem completely goes away, but they can at least for a moment even, or maybe for longer, improve your outlook on your situation. Sickle cell anemia is a disease of the blood. It's one of the most common inherited blood disorders, and it primarily results from basically a genetic mutation that causes people, instead of making sort of a normal shape red blood cell, they make red blood cells that look like a sickle. And when you have a blood cell that has that shape, it does not go through the body normally, and it can cause problems. Pain is one of the major problems that people have. That's probably the association that most people have when they hear about sickle cell anemia. But of course, it's a disease that affects your entire body, so it doesn't just cause pain. I think one of the major challenges for sickle cell anemia really across the country and probably across the world is what happens when people transition out of the pediatric world into the adult world. We do a really good job of taking care of kids with sickle cell disease, but when they go to the adult world, there's not as much of a commitment to that particular disease and people can sort of get lost and sometimes not get the best care, which unfortunately can lead to high rates of mortality in the 20s and 30s kind of actually an exciting time to be a sickle cell doctor. Treatment for sickle cell has improved a lot since this disease was first described. People are living longer. There are several new drugs that are being studied right now and actually we here at Cook Children's are participating in some of those studies. In the past, we've looked mainly at just treating symptoms, but now we're trying to look at preventing problems before they happen. A passion of mine is to make sure people really understand their disease, because I think they need to have some ownership for it in order to really be able to help themselves, basically empower them to be able to still have a full life despite having a chronic illness. We have several patients who are now in college, and trying to get through college with a chronic illness can be very tough because it's sometimes tough to get through college even without a chronic illness. And so I really admire them for basically having the fortitude to do that. These are people who basically say, okay, yes, I have this problem, but that doesn't mean that I can't do this or I can't be successful. Those are people I admire because I certainly haven't had the challenges they've had with trying to get to where I am. So I think they have some pretty big challenges to overcome and, and a lot of them do it very well. 